Fight on, Trojans, and welcome to the Voice of College Football USC channel. I'm your host, Rick Anaya. Glad to have you here for the second episode of Trojans Talk on Tap, a weekly video where I'll keep your glass full of the latest buzz on USC football, sometimes an opinion on the ever-changing landscape in college football, and always, at the end, a quality craft beer recommend to make you the MVP of your next tailgate. Speaking of tailgates, Trojans, a little over a week, first game at the Coliseum, 5 p.m. against San Jose State. Hope to see you there. This Sunday at 6 p.m., join Tim Prangley and I for our final off-season episode of Trojans Conquest Live. It's a weekly show, uh, getting you caught up on all the USC football news. 6 p.m. on the USC channel, 6 p.m. Pacific, 9 p.m. Eastern. Come check it out. If you're not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe. Hit the bell notification so you know when, when we go on live. And lastly, very happy to announce for the second consecutive year, I will be on the team with Tony Altamore and Tim Prangley Jr. doing the USC post game live on the USC channel here after every USC game like we did last year. So a lot of great information coming about. Excited to share that. And then I started this weekly video, Trojans Talk on Tap. And we're going to go ahead and get into Stone and USC coming out with a beer, a collaboration announced last week, Fight on Pale Ale. The first episode that I dropped on Trojans Talk on Tap was last week, and it was Black Friday uh, into Pac-12. And in the comments section, I want to give a shout out to J-Rod 1980. He said, hey, can you – do a, a cover on the new USC beer with Stone, Fight on Pale Ale. Well, J-Rod, here we go, man. So this episode is going to be basically, we're going to do a live taste testing. I'm going to let you know what I think of um, this beer. But before we get into it, tell me, do you know about Stone? Have you heard of Stone Brewing? Have you tried a Stone beer? Drop it in the comments. Let me know. And if you've had one, what part of the country do you live in? Because Stone is pretty much a national brand now. And... For those that didn't know, Stone and USC Athletics signed up a partnership back in September of 2021, and the founder and president, Greg Cook, was actually a USC grad in 1987. Who knows, Greg? Maybe you and I passed the halls at the USC Business School because I graduated from the business school in 1989. Um, but at the time, two years ago, Greg Cook was quoted as saying, I spent some very memorable years at USC including, of course, the tradition of walking across campus towards the stadium to take in the special experience that is Trojan football. Back then, all the beer I enjoyed was consumed pregame, and now I'm very excited to tell my 1980 self, 1987 self that we can finally enjoy a better beer in the stadium itself. So needless to say, two years ago, Trojans, I was very surprised to see the signage uh, Stone Brewing in the Coliseum, and then to find out that I can order a Stone IPA, I was shocked because like Greg Cook said, I remember going to the Coliseum and all you had was bad beer. At the time, that's all you can afford. And that's all that was in Southern California was bad beer. Stone was started in 1996. Stone IPA, a little history on Stone. Stone IPA was developed in first brewed in 1997. And it was the preeminent West Coast IPA. Perhaps you've heard of that if you're a craft beer drinker and you enjoy West Coast IPAs, drop it down in the comments. What's your favorite West Coast IPA? Those of you on the East Coast, you have your own style. Hazy IPA, also known as a Juicy, or New England IPA. There's a difference. West Coast is more bitter, aromatic, piney, and hazy is unfiltered, more citrusy, more fruity, uh, just like college football. There's different styles to college football in the SEC, the Big Ten, and out here on the West Coast where USC is the dominant player. And just like craft beer, Stone has been the dominant West Coast IPA uh, brewer. Always has been. And full disclosure, I used to work in the craft beer industry, working for Sam Adams Boston Beer in the late 90s. So I would compete against Stone, but we really didn't compete each other, against each other. We were in the same wholesaler. And uh, out in the South Bay, Manhattan, Hermosa, Redondo Beach, for you those Trojans that uh, are familiar with SoCal, and we went head-to-head -head with the big brewers, mainly Anheuser-Busch. And so back then, 
they wanted to kill craft beer. And believe it or not, in the late 90s, good beer or better beer in Southern California were considered Corona and Heineken. And that was pretty much it. Um, and so it's great to see a brand like Stone become an official partner of USC Athletics. I, it's unbelievable. I also work for New Belgium Brewing, too, and Fat Tire. So to see Stone elevate itself up, help, up I, I can't think of another craft brewer that sponsors college athletics. Drop it down in the comments if I'm overlooking something or somebody. I know that Sam Adams at one time or another in the last decade has sponsored the Boston Red Sox, but college football and college athletics, is there another craft brewer sp beer sponsor? So very special partnership. You have the best West Coast um, craft brewer, and you have West Coast, the, the preeminent West Coast college football team with USC winning 11 national championships, 25 Rose Bowls, eight Heismans, many, many imitations, many programs that want to be USC, but there's only one football program that's feared and hated outside of Southern California, and that is USC. We're hated in the South, we're hated in Eugene, we're hated in Seattle, and we're hated all across the Big Ten. Because when all you do is win, 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 that's what happens. And Stone should know that too. They've won 15 medals for 13 different styles of beer and 13 of their own beers in international beer competitions in the last 25 years. So I can't think of a better partnership. I want to congratulate Carol Fult, the board of trustees, Rick Caruso, Mike Bone, and um, obviously Lincoln Riley for eleva elevating the USC football program once again. And without further ado, let's get into this bad boy, um, Fight on Pale Ale, and we're going to try it. There's a little information on Stone and USC football, and what a partnership. And so let's take a look at this. Um, if you're familiar with craft beer or you're not, you, you want to find out your style. There's a lot of different styles of craft beer. I happen to be an IPA drinker, so I gravitate to a more hoppy beer. But I know Stone's going to make a quality product. I was a little surprised that they didn't come out with an IPA. They came out with a pale ale, and I, I have no idea why, but my guess would be this is 5.5% alcohol. It has what's called 24 IBUs. Not to geek on, out on you, but IBU stands for International Bitterness Units. It tells you how hoppy a beer is. For instance, the Stone Pale Ale is 71 IBUs. Your scale of IBUs goes from 0 to 100. So 24 is, is entry level. Pale ales typically go from 30 to 40. Many of you maybe have had a Stone Pale Ale. I mean, I mean I'm sorry, a Sierra Nevada Pale Ale. That's at a 38 IBU. So my guess is they wanted to attract those Trojans and upgrade them, right? The ones that drink domestic mass-produced beers, those IBUs are 5 to 10. That's the yellow fizzy beer that has no taste. Hey, Trojans, if you drink that mass-produced beer, you got to step up to the fight on pale ale because USC has invested in the program, right? We got Lincoln Riley. Gone are the days of this last decade of mediocrity. So Step up your beer game. Drink something with some class. I don't want to say Bud Light and those other swill brands out there tailgating this year. You have no excuse. So let's crack this bad boy open. It says, with a balanced blend of hops and a deep golden color, as vibrant as the Southern California sunshine, this quintessential SoCal Pale Ale is brewed to be the perfect companion for the beach, the tailgate, or cheering at the Trojans. Best enjoy while holding a can in one hand and raising a V for victory in the other. All right. Well, tell you what, when I'm at home, I like to have a good quality beer in a beer glass because that's the way it goes. You get the full aroma, the full taste. But I will be putting up that V for victory, and I'm going to put a toast to Carol Fult, Mike Bone, Rick Caruso, and Lincoln Riley for bringing back USC football that I know and love. Oh, wow, look at that. That golden, quintessential, kind of amber, orange color like the sunset. Fight on, Trojans. Yeah. As advertised. It's well-balanced. 
It's smooth. They blend the hops and the malted barley. That's what's going to give it the color. There's a tinge more barley, which gives you the sweetness of the beer. So if you can take a look at the color, it's it's not golden. It's more burnt orange. It's orange, like the sunset. And so when you get that color, that means it's a little bit sweeter. So you don't, you get just a tinge of a little bit of hops. Again, 24 IBUs, not a lot. But then you get a good finish with the malty mouthfeel on the back end. Oh, I can picture myself tailgating right now at the Coliseum. It's 85 degrees. This thing is drinkable, very crushable. I love the can art, fight on. And here's to you, Greg Cook. I toast to you as well because you fought the good fight, my friend. You made better beer an option in Southern California, and your partnership with USC should be commended within the craft beer community. I commend you, Greg Cook, for, for fighting on and creating a great collaborative beer with USC. So congratulations. And let's beat the Spartans at the Coliseum on August 26th. Fight on, Trojans.